there's a response to that blog post by Paul Cristiano. There's many responses, but he he makes a few different points. He summarizes the set of agreements he has with you and a set of disagreements. One of the disagreements was that, in a form of a question, uh, can AI make big technical contributions and in general expand human knowledge and understanding and wisdom as it gets stronger and stronger? So AI, in our pursuit of understanding how to solve the alignment problem as we march towards strong AGI, can cannot AI also help us in solving the alignment problem? So expand our ability to reason about how to solve the alignment problem. Okay, um, so the, the fundamental difficulty there is, suppose I said to you like, well, how about if the AI helps you win the lottery by trying to guess the winning lottery numbers? Mm -hmm and you tell it how close it is to getting next week's winning lottery numbers. And it just like keeps on guessing and keeps on learning until finally you've got the winning lottery numbers. What well, one way of decomposing problems is suggester verifier. Not all problems decompose like this very well, but some do. If the problem is, for example, like guess, guessing a plain text, guessing a password that will hash to a particular hash text, um, where like you have what the password hashes to, but you don't have the original password, then if I present you a guess, you can tell very easily whether or not the guess is correct. So verifying a guess is easy, but coming up with a good suggestion is very hard. Mm -hmm. And when you can easily tell whether the AI output is good or bad or how good or bad it is, and you can tell that accurately and reliably, then you can train an AI to produce outputs that are better. Right. And if you can't tell whether the output is good or bad, you cannot train the AI to produce, good ver to produce better outputs. So the problem with the lottery ticket example is that when the AI says, well, what if next week's winning lottery numbers are dot, 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 you're like, I don't know, next week's lottery hasn't happened yet. To train a system to play, to, to win at chess games, you have to be able to tell whether a game has been won or lost. Mm -hmm. And until you can tell whether it's been won or lost, you can't update the system. Okay, uh, to push back on that, you could, in, in, that's tr true, but there's a uh, difference between over the board chess in person and simulated games played by Alpha Zero with itself. Yeah. So is it possible to have simulated kind of games? If you can tell whether the game has been won or lost. Yes. So can, can't you not have this kind of simulated exploration by weak AGI to help us humans, human in the loop, to help understand how to solve the alignment problem? Every incremental step you take along the way, GPT, four, five, six, seven, as it takes steps towards AGI. So the problem I see is that your typical human has a great deal of trouble telling whether I or Paul Cristiano is making more sense. And that's with two humans, both of whom I believe of Paul and claim of myself, are sincerely trying to help, neither of whom is trying to deceive you. I believe of Paul and claim of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the deception thing's the problem for you, the manipulation, the alien actress. So yeah, there's like two levels of this problem. One is that the weak systems mm -hmm. are, well, there's three levels of this problem. There's like the weak systems that just don't make any good suggestions. Mm -hmm. There's like the middle systems where you can't tell if the suggestions are good or bad. And there's the strong systems that have learned to lie to you. Can't weak AGI systems help model lying? Like what, uh, do you, is it such a giant leap that's totally non-interpretable for weak systems? Can, can Cannot weak systems at scale with human, with uh, trained on knowledge and whatever, is, see, whatever the mechanism required to achieve AGI, can't a slightly weaker version of that be able to, with time, compute time and simulation, find all the ways that this critical point, uh, this critical try can go wrong 
and model that correctly or no? Okay, Sorry, it's so, like grinding. I, yeah, just I would love to dance. Yeah, no, no, it's it's I'm I'm probably not doing a great job of explaining. <laughs> Which I can tell because, like the uh, the 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 Lex system didn't output. Like, ah, I understand. So now I'm like trying a different output to see if I Try can elicit the like. <laughs> well, no, a different output. I'm I'm being trained to output things that make Lex look like he think that he understood what I'm saying yeah. and agree with me. Yeah. Right. So, so, so I, this is GPT previous, five talking to GPT three right here. So like, uh, help me out here. <laughs> help me. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and, well, I'm, I like I'm, tr- I'm trying. I'm trying not to be like. I'm also trying to be constrained to say things that I think are true and not just things that get you to agree with me. Yes, hundred well, percent. I, I think I would, understand is a beautiful output of a system, genuinely spoken. And I don't. I, I think I, I understand in, in part, but. You have a lot of intuitions about this. You have a lot of intuitions about this line, this gray area between strong AGI and weak AGI. That I'm trying to, um, I mean, or or a series of seven thresholds to cross, or yeah, yeah. But I mean, you have really deeply thought about this and explored it, and it's interesting to sneak up to your intuitions and in different. From, diff- from different angles. Like, why is this such a big leap? Why is it that we humans at scale, a large number of researchers doing all kinds of simulations, uh, you know, prodding the system in all kinds of different ways, together with uh, the assistance of the, uh, the, the weak AGI systems, why can't we build intuitions about how stuff goes wrong? Why can't okay, we do so- excellent AI alignment so- safety research. Okay, okay, so like I'll get there, but the one thing I want to note about is that this has not been remotely how things have been playing out so far. Sure. The capability is going like do 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 and right. the alignment stuff is like crawling like a tiny little snail in comparison. Got it. So like if if this is your hope for survival, you need the future to be very different from how things have played out up to right now. And you're probably trying to slow down the capability gains because there's only so much you can speed up that alignment stuff. But, uh, but yeah, leave that aside. And like, we'll, we'll mention that also, but maybe in this perfect world where uh, we can do serious alignment research, humans and AI together. So again, the difficulty is what makes the human say, I understand. And is it true? Is it correct? Or is it something that fools the human? Mm-hmm. The When the verifier is broken, the more powerful suggester does not help. It just learns to fool the verifier. Previously, before all hell started to break loose in the field of artificial intelligence, there was this person trying to raise the alarm and saying, you know, in a sane world, we sure would have a bunch of physicists working on this problem before it becomes a giant emergency. And other people being like, Ah well, you know it's going really slow. It's going to be thirty years away, and thirty only in thirty years will we have systems that match the computational power of human brains. So AI yeah, is thirty years off. We've got time, and like more sensible people saying, if aliens were landing in thirty years, you would be preparing right now. But you know, leaving and and the the world looking on at this and sort of like nodding along and be like, ah yes, the people saying that it's like definitely a long way off because progress is really slow. That sounds sensible to us. RLHF thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Produce more outputs like that one. I agree with this output. This output is persuasive. Even in the field of effective altruism, you quite recently had people publishing papers about like, ah, yes, well, you know, to get something at human level intelligence, it needs to have like this many parameters and you need to like do this much training of it with this many tokens according to the scaling laws and and, and, and at the rate that Moore's law is going at the rate that software is going, it'll be in 2050. And me going like, what? You don't know any of that stuff. Like, this is like this one weird model that is not, all has all kinds of like you have done a calculation that does not obviously bear on reality anyways and this is like a simple thing to say but you can also like produce a whole long paper like impressively arguing out all the details of like how you got the number of parameters and like how you're doing this impressive huge wrong calculation and the i think like most of the effective altruists who are like paying attention to this issue 
the larger world paying no attention to it at all, you know, or just like nodding along with the giant impressive paper because, you know, you like press thumbs up for the giant impressive paper and thumbs down for the person going like, I don't think that this paper bears any relation to reality. And I do think that we are now seeing with like GPT-4 and the sparks of AGI, possibly, depending on how you define that even, uh, I, I think that EAs would now consider themselves less convinced by the very long paper on the argument from biology as to AGI being 30 years off. And, but, you know, like, this is what people pressed thumbs up on. And when, the, and if you train an AI system to make people press thumbs up, maybe you get these long, elaborate, impressive papers arguing for things that ultimately fail to bind to reality, for example. And it, it feels to me like I have watched the field of alignment just fail to thrive, except for these parts that are doing these sort of like relatively very straightforward and legible problems. Like, like can you find the, like, like finding the induction heads inside the giant inscrutable matrices? Like, once you find those, you can tell that you found them. You can verify that the discovery is real. But it's a it's a tiny, tiny bit of progress compared to how fast capabilities are going once you, because that is where you can tell that the answers are real. And then like outside of that, you have, you have cases where it is like hard for the funding agencies to tell who is talking nonsense and who is talking sense. And so the entire field fails to thrive. And if you, and if you like give thumbs up to the AI, whenever it can talk a human into agreeing with what it just said about alignment, I am not sure you are training it to output sense because I have seen the nonsense that has gotten thumbs up over the years. And so, so just like, maybe you can just like put me in charge, mm -hmm. but I can generalize, I can extrapolate. I can be like, oh, maybe I'm not infallible either. Maybe if you get something that is smart enough to get me to press thumbs up, it has learned to do that by fooling me and exploiting whatever flaws in myself I am not aware of. And that ultimately could be summarized that the verifier is broken. When the verifier is broken, the more powerful suggester just learns to exploit the, the, the flaws in the verifier. You don't think it's possible to build a verifier that's powerful enough for AGIs that are stronger than the ones we currently have. So uh, AI systems that are stronger, that are out of the distribution of what we currently have. I think that you will find great difficulty getting AIs to help you with anything where you cannot tell for sure that the AI is right once the AI tells you what the AI says is the answer. For sure, yes, but probabilistically. Yeah, the, the 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 probabilistic stuff is a giant wasteland of, you know, Eliezer and Paul Cristiano arguing with each other and EA going like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's with like two actually trustworthy systems that are not trying to deceive you. <laughs> You're talking about the two humans. Myself and Paul Cristiano, yeah. Yeah, yeah those are pretty interesting systems. Mortal meat bags with intellectual capabilities and worldviews interacting with each other. Yeah, it's just hard to, if, it's, if it's hard to tell who's right, then it's hard to train an AI system to be right. I mean, even just the question of who's manipulating and not, you know, I have these conversations on this podcast and uh, doing a verifier <laughs> is tough. It's a tough problem, even for us humans. And you're saying, that tough problem becomes much more dangerous when the capabilities of the intelligence system across from you is growing exponentially. No, I'm saying it's difficult when it and dangerous in proportion to how it's alien and how it's smarter than you. Growing, ex, not, I would not say growing exponentially. First, because the word exponential is like a thing that has a particular mathematical meaning. And there's all kinds of like ways for things to go up that are not exactly on an exponential curve. Sure. And I don't know that it's going to be exponential, so I'm not going to say exponential. But like even leaving that aside, this is like not about how fast it's moving, it's about where it is. How alien is it? 
how much smarter than you is it? 